Hello and welcome to part 3 of terminologies used in psychiatry. Today we will be discussing about the disorders of mood and disorders of motor behavior. So coming to the disorders of mood, what is mood? Mood is a pervasive and sustained emotion. Pervasive means it is spread throughout, throughout the day for a week or so and sustained is it is a continuous type of emotion in all situations throughout the day the person will be having this type of emotion okay so it has both it is both subjective and objective the patient also says that is how he feels he feels sad or feels very happy or and that is what we also observe okay so coming to what are the disorders of mood the disorders of mood, um, we have uh, mania and depression is the condition in which basically we talk about. So we will come to the uh, emotional changes which happens basically in uh, mania. So in mania, uh, the various mood changes are one is euphoria, euphoria, E-U-P-H-O-R-I-A. This is a mild elevation of mood. Okay. And uh, so the, pa the patient feels very happy okay sense of well-being but is not in keeping with the surrounding okay it is euphoria mild elevation of mood patient is very happy and um, it's not in keeping with what's happening around the patient okay so seen in hypomania uh, the second one is elation e-l-a-t-i-o-n elation is a moderate elevation in the mood Patient feels very confident, patient enjoys everything, there's a lot of psychomotor activities increased. This is seen in mania. Okay, euphoria, then is elation. The third one is exaltation, E-X-A-L-T-A-T-I-O-N, severe elevation of mood, intense elevation, there's also delusion of grandeur. Okay, so this is seen in severe mania. And the fourth one is ecstasy. E C S T A S Y. So here there is a intense rapture and blissful. He is the patient can go into a manic stupor. So happy they go into state of manic um, stupor, stuporous mania. Okay, severe elevation of mood. So euphoria is mild elevation of mood, just being happy and good well-being. Elation is moderate, where they're very confident, they enjoy everything. Exaltation is severe uh, elevation of mood, intense elation, severe uh, delusion of grandeur and uh, the last one is ecstasy is rapture or blissful uh, seen in stuporous mania. There is also one more um, mood disorder which you see in mania is irritability. Irritability is when the patient gets angry when they are stopped, when they are asked not to do. Uh, they get angry, they get irritable. So irritability is another uh, mood change which you will basically see in patient with mania. So that is about the patient in mania. Now the other mood disorders, depression. So what is depression? It's a psychopathological feeling of sadness. Psychopathological feeling of sadness is depression. And another term which you have to know is anhedonia. A-N-H-E-D-O-N-I-A and he donia so what is anhedonia lack of interest or withdrawal from the regular pleasure pleasurable activity lack of interest or withdrawal from pleasurable activity so usually we ask housewives especially um, do you watch television nowadays so they will say no imagine a housewife not watching soap operas tv serials so that means it is you know severe depression so anhedonia uh, a person is uh, inability uh, uh, so interest uh, loss of interest uh, and uh, withdrawal from regular and pleasurable activities okay seen in depression and uh, other um, terminology is also grief or mourning okay grief or mourning is sadness related to a particular loss okay so these are some of the simple terms related to disorders of mood other 
uh, emotional conditions are you have to know anxiety and um, fear okay anxiety fear and panic are the other emotional disorders so what is anxiety anxiety is feeling of apprehension to an anticipated danger which can be internal or external okay what will happen if this roof falls on me okay if i go on the road if uh, i meet with an accident and die if i leave the house and go if my house you know there is a short circuit and everything gets destroyed so that fear i mean that, that uh, sense of tension tension worry 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 okay so an anticipated danger okay what might happen because of that what feeling you have it's called as anxiety apprehension to an anticipated danger the next one is fear fear is anxiety caused by consciously recognized and realistic danger anxiety caused by consciously recognized and realistic danger a real danger a dog is coming and attacking you okay so what emotion you have is fear okay what's going to happen to me okay so this is a, a real uh, external threat so how you react is fear the next the third emotional disorder the rough course again lot of terms i'm just restricting to few words panic panic is acute episodic intense attack of anxiety with an impending sense of doom so what is panic it is acute it comes suddenly it is episodic it just lasts for few seconds it comes and goes and it is intense severe anxiety attack which comes and goes and its uh, patient feels that he is going to die okay his heart starts beating his mouth comes and heart comes into his mouth like you you, uh, you start sweating you panic okay all this happens in uh, panic uh, which is panic disorder so these are some three other terms which uh, we uh, speak when we come to other disorders of emotion now what is affect affect is uh, observed expression of emotion so it is related to a situation how a person reacts it is objective okay so it could be an appropriate affect so something happy is happening the person smiling okay or something happy around everybody and you tell a joke and all that patient is crying instead so it is inappropriate affect uh, internally also he is feeling happy but externally how he expresses okay that is inappropriate affect then you have blunted affect where there is a reduction in emotional expression seen in depression this flat affect no emotional reaction which can see seen in uh, patients with chronic schizophrenia we also have a labile affect labile affect is when there is a rapid and abrupt shift in the emotion patient is happy suddenly becomes sad then suddenly starts crying then the patient gets uh, irritable uh you know this rapid shift change in emotion which is called as labile affect l a b i l e labile affect okay so these are the some of the terms or words um which is related to the disorders of mood and affect so now we quickly go on to the uh, disorders of motor uh, behavior okay so disorders of motor behavior basically we have um the catatonia okay or that is the posturing abnormalities the you know, postural abnormalities okay so catatonia we know there are two types one is catatonic excitement and catatonic stupor okay in catatonic excitement there is a purposeless increased agitated motor activity without this it is not goal directed okay patient becomes um, agitated becomes uh, has an increase activity which is not related to the external stimuli that is catatonic exc- excitement seen in catatonic uh, schizophrenia we also have catatonic stupor okay again a part of catatonic schizophrenia so what are the terms or what are the uh, motor symptoms associated with abnormal abnormal motor activity seen in catatonic stupor okay in catatonic stupor there is marked slow motor activity even to a point of immobility okay so there is reduced in stupor there is reduced motor activity in excitement there is increased psychomotor activity so what are the other uh, psychomotor problems which is there in catatonic stupor one is rigidity it is all 
the symptom is related to the word rigidity is stiffness no rigidity so voluntary assumption of a rigid posture and it is held against all effort to be moved so the patient takes up a very tight stiff position how much ever you try to move the patient the person will not move okay voluntarily they take up a very rigid position posture and they uh, will not will not move okay um, so that is rigidity the next one is posturing posturing is voluntary assumption of inappropriate uh, posture and it is maintained for a very long time okay so posturing is they take up the person will be just um, standing bending over like this and will be there like that for 12 hours 14 hours continuously the patient will be just like that okay for a uh, very very bizarre bizarre position normally what we do not uh, take you know so that type of position they take up and they retain it for a very long period of time next one is waxy flexibility w a x y waxy flexibility so what like wax the body is flexible okay so the patient can be molded you can twist and turn the hand and leg of the person and uh, the limbs and uh, the limbs feel like wax okay if you, if you feel the patient skin of uh, catatonic schizophrenia it feels very soft and moist and uh, you know even it's you can just twist and turn uh, the hands and legs in some odd position and the patient will retain that position for a long period of time okay so that is waxy um, flexibility so we can do it mold the posit limbs and they will can retain it akinesia kinesis is movement akinesia no movement lack of any physical movement okay next in catatonic schizophrenia patient will not be moving okay so akinesia the other things are negativism okay motiveless resistance uh, to all attempts to be moved the person will not move okay this resistance you try to no, they not okay so motiveless resistance to all attempt to be moved okay or any instruction to move the person will not move that is negativity so these are some of the um, uh, things we should be uh, seeing in uh, movement disorder and one more important movement disorder is echopraxia remember echolalia echolalia is what you speak the person repeats here is the pathological imitation of movement of one person by another you lift your hand patient will lift your hand you do this patient will do that you do this patient will. so they just pathological imitation of the action of one person by the other so what the interviewer does the patient will do the same thing that is uh, echopraxia other uh, terminologies in uh, motor disorders of motor behavior one or two uh, one is stereotype movement okay stereotype so stereotype is repetitive fixed pattern of physical action or speech repetitive fixed pattern so if you see some of the children with autism they always go on like this rocking movement okay so this is a stereotyped uh, behavior okay repetitive fixed pattern of physical action or speech um mutism voiceless without any structural abnormalities they will not speak but they have no problem but they will not speak that is uh mutism other uh, motor disorders are tic tic disorders okay involuntary spasmodic motor movement okay suddenly the person so they keep doing this okay so it's uh, when we come to tic disorder we'll talk about it now it can be some facial grimacing like that or uh, something you know some action like that involuntary action involuntary spasmodic motor movement is your uh, tick okay tick so these are some of the uh, terms which we um, use in uh, disorders of motor behavior and of uh, mood disorders which we have talked about okay so uh, with this we are concluding and uh, the part 3 and tomorrow the next video we will be i'll be class i'll be completing the other terms which is commonly used in psychiatry and we'll wind up with the terminologies used in psychiatry okay if you have any doubt or any feedback please let me know thank you bye